Hello and welcome to my U to the Prom 9. Now for my regular viewers this will be a bit of an odd one but this is basically a selling eBay listing and for the eBay listers who will be seeing this this is basically information in a good, the most sensible way for me to actually output it. So these are two Stanton's STR860 professional turntable decks, whether they're actually professional equipment I do not know. The audio market is not my speciality, the computing one is, along with a little bit of electronics. They, where's the, there's the on thing. So we turn it on, you get the nice little fancy blue little LED, changes RPM, you got your little variable speed and of course it spins much more testing than this I can't do now because of the way these dots indicate how the speed should be actually thin there should be still so I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem though because there's plenty of adjustment pots underneath I'm not sure there but it should be adjustable. They both work. You can do your deck stuff, which is actually kind of fun. And of course, you've got your standard 45, standard 33. They don't have needles, and my camera doesn't focus anymore, that's also apparent. And I have been on that because I don't have needles or records to test it, I've been unable to. What I will do is do a continuity test between these cables and the actual pins of the needles. You also need to find a replacement thing if you so desire for this. You can get the spade terminal things being used for dirt cheap, so that's not a problem. Now they both have these, but this is the only one with the other one has the light bulb blown and it is non replaceable, which is a rather stupid move by the engineers, in my personal opinion. But that's for lighting up in a nightclub or something. And to turn it off, unplug it, bear with me, let me show the other one running. Let's put the camera down, I'm too lazy to get the tripod out got too much to do, it's exam season. And we shall fire that on with this interesting thing. Once again, LEDs work selectable. It spins round, you can adjust the speed with this where it goes slow. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up. I think it is. And when you have it not matched on there, it goes like that, and of course you've got the usual sort of indication. This one seems more in cow, but once again it has pots underneath. Another thing that might be of interest to you audio people is you've got selectable range, but I'm not going to be posting these. And there's a very good reason for this. I have had one of these open to have a look inside, and one of the things they've done to make them look more expensive than they actually are, is put massive great heavy steel plates in the bottom and they are extremely heavy and the post office is nowhere near a car park or it's uh, certainly it's going to be a bit of a track to the post office from the car park and well I'm a computing man not a bodybuilder lifting these is a problem and plus of all I don't have well I do have a box actually perhaps I shouldn't throw that box out I'll go and retrieve it but yeah, they're too heavy to post basically, and the post office isn't, isn't near the car park, so that's no good. This is the one which has the blown light bulb, it is non-user replaceable. I don't know if there's replacement kits to replace this whole module or not. Once again, no needle, so I will do a continuity test on that, see if that actually goes through, because it's completely passive to these cables. And you will need a spade connector for this, it's pretty rank condition to be honest. You might want to give it a bit of clean, a bit of sandpaper or something too. But yeah, apart from that they're both in working condition and can be calibrated because they got calibration pots. So, 
that's all about these decks. I say thanks for watching, and for those of you who are actually interested and going to bid on these, good luck on it. I'll be putting it up about whoops about ten pounds a unit, so twenty for both. I think that seems reasonable, it was when I looked on there because everything else is significantly more expensive so there might be the opportunity to get a bargain. And yeah, if you're interested, bid on, if you're not. You're kidding me! It was just a loose connection, there I thought the bulb had blown. Okay, so it's worth noting the bulb isn't blown but there's a temperamental loose connection which can probably be fixed with the with a little help from Mr. Soldering Iron. So that's all right then. As long as you've got a bit of soldering skills, you're all good there. But that's all what I can really think to say about them. Thanks for watching. There was one thing I forgot to remember. The retaining clip, this one is good. For this one, the retaining clip is completely broken. I'm not sure how easy it is to re obtain replacements, but that's something I forgot to mention. However, I've now rectified that. Take into account. And a note, after doing a continuity test on the cables, to the connectors in here, because they're passive, all work. So these should be fully functional units, but they probably need some adjustment. That's the thing I will note. You will probably need to adjust the pots underneath.